What's up YouTube? Today I wanted to break down blockchain for stackers and what I mean by that is Silver actually makes a great representation of how these blocks work. What you see in front of you represents a buyer, a seller, and the product or transaction. When the two parties agree on a price and decide to close the deal and send payment over, typically this goes through the whole banks, PayPal, etc. They typically record the transaction and guarantee the, the funds being transferred. But now in blockchain, it's just me, you, and all the servers around us. Typically, PayPal gets its fees from the seller, and in this case, the fees are paid directly to the network. The network consists of miners who are actively validating. And what this means is they take your transaction, it's assigned a hash, and this hash holds your wallet addresses between the buyer and the seller and the transaction ID. When there's enough transactions, they get put into a block which the miners are rewarded after processing X number of transactions. In Bitcoin's case, a new block is awarded every 10 minutes. The size of the block is what a lot of people are talking about and one of the reasons why Bitcoin is so slow because it's a small one megabyte block. So only a certain amount of transactions can fit per block and so only so many blocks can be generated every 10 minutes. So when you hear about these backups, essentially there's just a backup of transactions that need to be processed. Just to be clear, when I say backup, I mean when there's a delay in getting your money from point A to point B. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, sometimes it takes a few hours. And as we've seen with Ethereum, sometimes it takes a few days. So let's say a block has been generated and is out in the wild. Now there's a chain that's formed. And this is an example of a chain with the entire sheet representing the block. Now it's encapsulated, so when someone tries to hack it or change a transaction, what they have to do is cut open the block replace the block and then reassign the serial numbers for the entire block and they have to do this working from the current block back and the current block in ethereum is at four million the other reason why it's difficult to change it is because the way this works with proof of work is once one computer validates it it's confirmed by every single computer in the network that's what makes this fairly inefficient or power hungry and resource intensive is that everyone is processing the same transactions over and over and over just to make sure that all the transactions are confirmed and hashed properly otherwise it gets invalidated and that transaction gets removed there are different styles to this with proof of stake proof of importance and it doesn't use the same power resources because not everybody needs to confirm it but at the same time this is what some people like and don't like because there are pros and cons to each style, but for now, we're just going to focus on proof of work with Bitcoin and Ethereum. What's coming up with Bitcoin is what's called a soft fork, where the chain itself is going to be updated and everyone who has an update is going to run the new system. What's happening with Ethereum is what's called a hard fork, where you take the current chain and it splits into two chains. The way that they're set up is that one chain will update the other chain until everyone is moved off onto the new system. But essentially they're duplicates. If for instance they diverge and one doesn't update the new one, then that's how you actually split. And that's how Ethereum Classic was born and our current ETH. It's basically when some people decide they don't want to go onto the new system and they just want to use the old system because for whatever reason they just want to, but that runs into the problem of being outdated unless a new community forms to pick up the slack and develop on that chain. An example of that in the coin world would be the privies on different coins. Even though the core design is the same, there's a difference that kind of has its own evolution and its own community around it. Bitcoin itself is similar to the American Eagle and Ethereum, the Silver Eagle, whereas you have Krugerrands, Maples, all these other different kinds of coins available, and so certain ones do better than others. Finally, I'm having a 1 millionth view giveaway and a 3,000th sub contest. So for the 1 million, I'm giving out an ounce of silver, and the 3,000, I'm going to give the equivalent ounce of silver in your choice of crypto or, or Ethereum or Bitcoin. All you have to do is guess the spot price for either July 4th if the market's closed or July 7th. So make two guesses. If the market's closed, we'll use July 4th. 
and if it's not closed then we'll use July 7th. First place we'll get first pick and it's the, gonna be the first two under the, the, the right price. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.